Glover, Glover off the mark. And up ahead, Darren Harris finds Garrett Sundra with two hands. All right, so another episode of the Light It Up Sports Podcast. Today we are here with class of 2024 power forward Garrett Sundra. I'm super excited to have him on the show. He recently released his final five schools that he cut his list town, and that is including Virginia Tech, Providence, Miami, Butler, and Notre Dame. We're going to get into kind of each one of those schools, break it down. He also recently, let's talk about this first, I guess. You recently just won a team takeover EYBL championship. Um, kind of walk us through how the season was for you and what that championship means for you going into your senior year. Um, so our first session, uh, we went two and two in Atlanta and, um, I thought we, we could have had, we could have been better there. And, um, you know, we didn't have very many practices with the full team there. So we're kind of still getting into the uh, swing of things. And then following weekend went four and oh, and, and then we kind of went on our uh, run, uh, yeah. finished first in our, in our pool. And then, uh, going into peach jam, we only had a, a limited amount of practices, uh, not a lot of practice time, but, um, we kind of pulled everything together. And um, went into that week with uh, one one goal and one mindset, and uh, we came out uh, with with a championship. So, yeah. And when you look at that team takeover roster, and you look at Paul the Sixth High School, I don't know many UIBL teams that have that amount of guys that play on the same high school team. I mean, you, Darren Harris, Isaiah Abraham, Ben Hammond. I know maybe a couple more that I'm forgetting. Yeah, Big Pat. Big, yeah, uh, Patrick big, Dongba, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of these guys have experience. And how would you say that helps you playing EYBL and even helps you get ready for the high school season already playing with guys you're familiar with? Uh, it's great because we had a whole season uh, before EYBL just to get our chemistry go- going. And um, so that was great. I mean, we know we know each other really well, had a whole school year. And we're all like we're all like brothers at this point. Um, and I think it, it helped. It helped a lot um, mm-hmm. going to that EYBL season. Uh Added some few pieces outside of PVI, um, but then uh, yeah, we had we had a great season. Yeah, and PVI being a DMV school, uh, lots of talent going to the collegiate level, not just this year, but in the years past. You also play with a lot of guys on Team Takeover that you end up playing against in the high school season. Guys like Donovan Freeman. Um, do you guys get to talk about that during the Team Takeover season? How you guys kind of face each other during high school seasons? Yeah, there's definitely a, definitely a lot of smack talk going on uh, yeah. with through the players and the coaches, but. Um, yeah, we're uh we're, we're looking forward to seeing uh seeing them this this season for sure. Yeah. Um obviously that team takeover championship. I mean, you guys are all on the same team. You guys were played at Geico Nationals last year for high school, but going into this upcoming high school season, your senior year, a lot of guys on your team senior year before they go end up going to play co- collegiate level basketball. What can we kind of expect from Paul the this season? You know, we have a we have a, a lot of the guys coming back. Uh, the only player we lost was Deshaun and uh, a few a few other seniors. Um, so we're going to be just as loaded as we were last year. And we have a lot of young guys coming up who are really, 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 uh, we're really impressed with. Um, so I think we're going to have a great squad again this year and um, hopefully bring home some championships. Yeah, and so as I said before, you just released, or kind of a few weeks ago, you released your top five schools, Virginia Tech, Providence, Miami, Butler, Notre Dame. I'm going to kind of just have you talk about each school, your relationship with each school, and we can just kind of start off with Virginia Tech. Yeah, so I have a lot of family uh, that went to Virginia Tech. Um, obviously, it's 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 a close school here. Um, but, I, you know, coaching staff is great. I uh, love the environment there. And, um, yeah, I think they use their uh, they use their forward really well, the power forward position. So, um, yeah, that, that's what I – Yeah, yeah, a lot of great bigs that definitely come out of uh, the Hokies the past few years. Providence? Um, love coach Kim, Kim English. Um, you know, that whole coaching staff was at George Mason. They came to a lot of our open gyms for PVI uh, in the fall. So I have a great relationship with them. Um, I'm really, I'm excited to see what they do, um, up at, uh, up in Providence this year. Um, so yeah, Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to that. And out of these schools, which ones have you taken official visits to? Uh, just Butler. Just Butler. Butler. And then I have, um, Notre Dame. I actually leave, uh, this upcoming Monday. Okay, for Notre Dame. All right, uh, Miami? Uh, yeah, so um, Coach Courtney was in a lot of open gyms, too. He coached one of our uh, our coaches on that uh, George Mason team in 2004 or 5, I think it was, Final Four. Uh, so he, he has a great uh, relationship with us, knowing some of the guys on the team. Uh, and then Coach L, uh, you know, we, we talk every every uh, well, about every other week. And, um, yeah, so Gosh. I love what they're doing down in Miami. Mm-hmm. And you said you took an official visit to Butler. How was that visit and how have they been recruiting you? 
Yeah, so, um, you know, Coach Pegues and Coach Maude have done a great job. Uh, it was great. I got to go. Um, go to um, and uh, loved all the coaches there. Um, the players were great. Um, but, yeah, I think their coaching staff was really interesting. They're, uh, they're big ping pong fans, and I'm a big ping pong fan myself. So I thought that was uh, – that was cool. Yeah. Um, but, and and you said you're taking a visit soon, an official visit to Notre Dame, uh, how they've been recruiting you, talking to you. I know Cooch, new head coach and Coach Shrewsbury, so kind of some changes within the Notre Dame staff. Yeah, um, they kind of been following me uh, while they were at Penn State recruiting me. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, you know, Coach Shrews, he's from the NBA, so – other great, great schools has a great, um, great background behind them. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what they do. I'm excited to get up there um, this weekend or mm -hmm. next week. Yeah. And Notre Dame, is there any other visits that you plan on taking before you commit? Yeah. Um, I think after Notre Dame, I think I'll, uh, I'll know when I'm, when I'm ready. Gotcha. And when all these different schools are recruiting you and obviously the fans of all these schools in your top five have been, you know, waiting to see where you're going to take visits to, where you're going to commit, what, what would you tell them you can bring to a collegiate level basketball program? You know, I think, um, you know, I, I, uh, I kind of, I can stretch the floor out a little bit. So I'm a stretch four. I can shoot the ball pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I'd say I'm, I'm a good defender, uh, rebound the ball well, take some charges. And then I think, you know, just kind of like a winner, you know, I have, I, we've, I've been winning a lot recently um, in, you know, back-to-back UIBL -back championships, which is great. I'm very fortunate to be on both of those teams. Um, so, yeah, I would just say, say that. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to a timeline for your commitment, you said that after your Notre Dame visit, you think you'll know where you're going to choose. Can that, does that mean that after your Notre Dame visit, you'll commit or are you going to maybe wait a little bit? Um. You know, I think I'll, I'll probably just wait it out just a little bit, kind of soak in the uh, the the uh, visit, and then kind of understand like the the um, how big this decision is. Gotcha. Well, Garrett, I appreciate you got you for coming on the show. Make sure you guys go check out all of his socials; they'll all be linked down below. Um, stay tuned and locked into our socials and his socials because they will obviously announce the commitment when he does make that choice where he'll be playing college basketball. But I appreciate you for coming on the show. Of course, thank you for having me.